These are Deutsch connectors, and I've come across them plenty of times in the past, but I've never really considered actually using them until I found them on AliExpress and suddenly realized I may really like these connectors. And I bought some, and it turns out, yes, I do really like these connectors. So let me get the lid off this so you can see the, the selection I got. I'll take the lid off completely here. If I can get the lid off completely, is the lid going to... Yes, the lid has come off completely. So I'll show you the listings. I'll actually link to the listings. Now, it's interesting to note that the ones I went for are the sort of high quality turned pin crimps. The turned pin crimps are solid and they require a very specialist crimping tool that pinches it in from all directions. And the official tool costs about £200. This one does not cost £200. So I went for the turned pin ones because they are much better connectors. However, there is a price to pay for going for the turned pin connectors. The kit I bought from AliExpress cost £23.47 $23. plus UK tax, VAT. And for that, you get four two-pole connectors, three three-pole connectors, five four-pole connectors, and three six-pole connectors, plus all the terminals. However, if you go for the uh, fold-round crimps instead, the sort of just generally curled and folded metal, the price drops to $16.82. So that was from... $23.47 to $16.82, but these are the more standard crimps that you use the standard tool that has the little arch at the top, the, the McDonald's golden arch that curls the contacts round into the wires. This tool, though, for the uh, turned pin one, it came in at $14.71 plus the tax, and uh, it works. It's very good. I'll demonstrate that. I shall provide links to these. If you notice I'm buying lots of stuff from AliExpress recently, it's because A, it's cheaper, B, they've got more interesting technical stuff, and C, unlike eBay, when I provide a link to a listing on AliExpress, the price may vary depending on the country, depending on import tariffs, like America has huge import tariffs at the moment, courtesy of the orange one. But if I provide a link to a particular listing, it, the price doesn't get gouged so far. It stays the same. But I do always suggest that if you go to one of the listings that I link to, take a look in the suggested listings below and you'll see other options. Right. Okay, let's take a look at the connector. So we'll make a two-pin connector. I like the fact that these stack for storage. That's quite nice. So you have the plug body and you have with that a little wedge that goes in. You have the socket body, and with that, you have another little wedge that goes in, and the wedge does two things. It jams the contacts in, it locks them into place, and it also locks this rubber seal into place. Without this uh, end cap clicking in, that rubber seal will come off, but you can just put it back on again. But, but once this is on, it's fine. So let me terminate this, then I'll show you a test I did, because I had thoughts about this. I'm going to put that box somewhere, it's going to avalanche and just spill the contents everywhere. Oh, I will need one other thing out of that, I'll need the other connector pins. Right, we're ready. So I'm going to get two of the mail pins, and I'll zoom down this now, since uh, we want to be able to see what I'm actually doing. I will get two of the female pins. There is one already. So I'm using fairly thick wire for these. You can get different sizes of pins, but each requires its own special crimping tool. It gets expensive quite quickly, but having said that, if you're using these for personal projects, it, you can get kits, affordable kits. If you're using it for, for professional paid projects, then consider the real thing. Consider actually using Deutsch connectors and um, the correct tools, which are expensive, but you know, they pay for their, themselves in the long run. So I've slipped this over here, and here's the interesting bit. This is a crimping tool, and when you put it in, the crimp is supposed to be flush with the top, but it's not. Um, that's different to the socket pins, but you can turn this little adjustment at the back until it is flush with the top, and once it's flush with the top, you crimp it in, and it does a fantastic fantastic job. It goes in from four directions and it really crimps that onto the fact that I literally can't pull it off. That is a great crimp. Incidentally, you want to trim it to about, say, five or six millimeters, just under a quarter of an inch. So now let's uh, 
put the matching pin on the live connector. Here's a thing too. Um, I didn't see a specific voltage rate, and they say the dielectric rating is 1,500 volts, but I do think they are rated for hundreds of volts. They're normally used in vehicles because they're a waterproof connector, but I do think they're used for industrial uses too, but check that yourself. And for that reason, when I terminated this, I wanted to do a test, and I'll show you the test results with that. Um, but that was assuming 240 volts. I think these would be okay, actually, up to 415 volt, three phase. So in goes this terminal and crimps. Good beefy crimp, right? And now we'll get the other ones. Now, when you're putting the wires in, resist the temptation to twist wires. You shouldn't twist wires when you put them into a crimp for two reasons. If you twist them, it changes the bulk of it. And as it slackens off again, it can theoretically change the diameter of the bundle after you've crimped it. I don't think that's a huge issue with these because the way it crimps in is just like monster. But also with the ones that crimp fold the, the the wings round, the little panty wings, into the wire. Uh, if it, the wires are twisted, it will just bite into them. Instead of separating them into two nice bundles, it will actually bite into the spiral and it may damage the wires. So you have to not uh, twist them, but that makes it a bit harder putting it in, making sure you got all the strands in so you don't have any George Michaels, the careless whiskers that stick out the side, which can cause a problem. Now, note this one. I'm going to screw this up this time fully in because I noticed with this one, uh, it is, that's the correct height for it. It's strange that you have to unscrew a bit for the, the mail pin. Right, I shall squeeze this. Crimped. Super tight. Not coming off. That's like QVC where it suddenly does come off. I've not managed to pull one off yet. Oh, I regret saying that. Anyway, next is this. We'll crimp this one. And it's worth saying it says, do not unscrew collar. What this this bit here. All it is, it's a spring and a little depth stop inside. Now, they could have actually drilled a central hole and there is a slight indent that could have dropped the pin a wee bit further. I suppose if you wanted to, you could do that yourself. But as it is, I'd say just manually adjust this up and down as needed for the height. What a great little tool. Click, click, click. It's ratchet. Fourth click releases one, two, three. It's locked. Okay. Now, here's another thing I noticed. One of the connectors, the female connector, is very straightforward. So let's put the connectors in. You've got a rubber seal in the back and you just shove the whole thing through and there's a very reassuring click. You feel it click into it when it goes into the correct position and it's flush with the front. That's another reason for this thing. It masks off those connectors. But you feel a solid click and don't worry about it because you can take this little wedge out and this one, and you can actually put a screwdriver down, you can just lift the little latch and you can take the wire back out again dead easy. And it slides out, slides in and out, in and out, oh, so easily, like that. So it is a serviceable connector, but that is in to the end there, and then you get this, and you slot the orange one in, noting the orange one goes one to the next to the little seal here, it clicks in, and that's it locked. And that's not just locked, the seal on, it's actually locked those little uh, latches so you can't pull the wires out. Solid. Really nice. Let's do the same here. And this is where it went wrong for me. Right, tell you what, I'm just going to put that on like that as a reminder of the polarity. So the live is going here. When I did the three pin one, I found that when I left it on, it didn't seem to come through as much as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to come way through. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. But it doesn't go in too deep here. This one's fine. But when I put the three connectors into the triangular connections, while it was still had the sleeve on the flex, because it changed the angle of them, uh, they, they kind of splayed out inside in a way that wasn't terribly conducive to actually getting the little wedge in. This one has worked absolutely fine. So if we look down the end of it, you can see the pins are there and there's the little latches. I don't know if you can see the little latches in there. Let me tame this down a bit. There's little latches that you could push back with a screwdriver just to get them out. You'll see if you buy these. But the pins don't stick in very far, but it turns out there's a reason for that. So here is this thing. Let me just uh, see which way around this goes. Okay, it goes in. Let me grab a pair of tweezers or something. Tweezers. And grab this, or a pair of longness pliers. Stuff it down in there. 
and then use the blunt end to just push it in until it clicks. I think it just clicked. Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Solid. And they've not popped out. If you pull the connections out, the seal can pop out the back. You can pop it again. If you're using CF four way connector, but only three wires, you get little plugs for the vacant seal positions. You have to put them in to keep the waterproofing. And then that's it. It won't mate this way, but it will mate this way with the latch. And when it does go together, it makes that little click and it's locked. And those pins are firmly pushed in together. And to release it again, you just push down. Notice the little guide here, a little guard to stop it being pushed down accidentally. And your rubbery seal pulls out here. And that's it parted. What a great connector. Really nice. Now, here's a test I did. You see, I thought these pins were going to mate a lot deeper. I thought they were going to be like all the way because you've got this big pin here. And you've got the socket terminal that can take it literally all the way, like, oh yes, all the way in there, uh, in and out, in and out, no problem. But in reality, when you actually meet them together, it only goes in a little bit. And you think, that's not going to make a great connection. But most of the connection is at the end anyway. And it's just got that little bit of leeway that it could go in further if it has to. And the reason for that is quite interesting. You see, I thought with this, what would happen if... As you're mating it together, if you were using it for 240 volts, what would happen if this socket end with the live, because it's triangular, what would happen if you mated it incorrectly so that this was not lining up with that and you pushed it together and the live actually went onto the chassis earth connection? So let me get a meter and show you what actually happened there. So here is a cheapy meter that goes beep, beep. Okay, and I'm going to connect from the live here to the mismated earth connection. So we'll put that on there and we'll go on to the mismated earth connection here. And now, if this actually makes contact to the earth when it's mismated the wrong way, nope, can't make contact. It's only going to mate through, and in this case I'll have to swap this to the live, it's only going to make it through when I turn this round and put it in the correct way because it only makes contact the pins when it is fully inserted. That's good. That's a nice safety feature. So, um, so far, I'm quite impressed by these. Now, you do get the professional kits. The professional connectors are, strangely enough, a lot more expensive than the AliExpress copies. But that depends on the application you're using them. If you're using them for, say, for instance, an industrial piece of equipment, get the real connectors. Uh, if you're using them for a personal project, get the cheap connectors. If you want to be super cheap, get the little fold-round wing connectors. I could show you what I mean by that. One moment, please. This type of connector here, the one with the little metal tabs that fold round when you use the crimping tool, a fairly generic crimping tool probably, although there is a, there are sets which have not just these super duper crimping tools, but they also have the ones that just basically fold round the wings. They're sort of universal sets. Let me zoom out. Now you've seen that. And focus down to a sensible level, like that. Um, but the... These, these sets with this type of folding round thing are cheaper, but I, I have to say that I really like these. Also, it's worth mentioning that I stuck a small wire into one of these connectors. Even though it's in the, not the correct size of terminal for this wire, it really crimped in. I can't pull that out. Am I going to pull it out? No, I'm not. Uh, so there we have it. The Deutsch connectors. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, they're very, very good. And the fact that you can get the kits, I mean, it's not super cheap, but the fact you can get affordable kits online uh, just makes this a great connector for those projects where you do need a bit of current because they, they are rated for a decent current and you need uh, a decent water resilience where the seals are going to keep the water out of the connector completely. So Deutsch connectors, spelt. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Hold on. Let me just read it from here. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. 
D-E-U-T-S-C-H. I'll provide links. Then you can actually you can actually see what you can get. But there we have it, the Deutsch connectors. Could they be my new favorite rugged connector? I think they already are.